I say here we are then in Monterey, California at the 1920 Grand Prix. Behind me, these chaps are getting set and ready to go for the off here. Corky Coker on the tyres and the rest of the blokes are doing everything they can. Hello, what's this? There seems to be a bit of confusion here. Wow, look at this. There's, an, there's a disagreement. I'm going to have to get in here. Corky's the man. I say, Corky, my friend, what's going on here? I, I don't know. we got to beat to the pre-grid, and they're here, and they're taking this car apart, and all these cars are backed up. I don't know what they're doing. We don't know what they're going. The Marmon Wasp, number 32, is in the back there. That's your first Indianapolis 500 ever winner. Keep your eyes on the 33 car as well. That's come second here before. What on earth's going on here with the number 13 car? Looks like they're tearing it apart. I say, chaps, what's going on? What are, what's, the, what's the go here? Don't know yet. We're still looking around. They have got no idea what's going on. Seems they're taking the front end off. Wow, this is really something. Would you have a flat? Oh, no, they're taking the car apart. Corky, they're taking it apart. That's not in the rules. It's not in the rules. Look, they're, they're going to take, the, take the engine out of this car. We've got to get to the pre-grid, Kevin. These, these chaps have got to get to the pre-grid. If they've got any chance of winning this race, these blokes have got to do what they can do in record time. I, you know, it does look like they know what they're doing. These young men must have energy. They must have eaten their Wheaties this morning because they are moving fast, aren't they? I say these blokes really are looking quite chipper. Look at what they're doing, folks. Undoing the wheels and the tires. They're coming off. I say, though, these are Coca tires. Yes, sir, they are. Absolutely. They ride true and they ride slick and absolutely will hold the track. But they're taking the rear end out from under the, that car, Kevin. The rear end's that. coming out from the car, but these tires are gonna need to hold a steady line if they're to get to the grid on time. What's going on now? This bloke's got no idea. Look at him, he's lost, Corky. <laughs> I, think, I think he's working on a Chevrolet instead of a Model T Ford. He sure is. Yeah. Wow, oh, look, look at, at this, though. Rear Up on the props. Coming. Rear end's coming out. They got it up on jacks. What are you doing? They must, they must need to change the clutch or something, I guess, Kevin. Well, how about this? Changing the club, folks. This is what goes on. 1920s Grand Prix racing at its finest. The pinnacle of motorsport here at Laguna Seca, just outside they Monterey. Took, they, Kevin, they took the, What are we going to do with it? Look, wait a minute. I don't know what they're doing. There's clean nothing left of this car here on the grid. And don't forget, folks, there's 20 other cars lined up here at the ragtime races, ready and to go to the grid. I don't think they're going to do it, Corky. I might go back in and speak to this bloke. He oh. seems to be in charge. I say, old man, what on earth's going on here? I don't know. There's something wrong with the car. I'll get it fixed in a minute. I'll tell you something, my friend. There's a lot going wrong with the car. You've got no wheels on it. Well, that's just a minor detail. We don't need wheels. This thing's so fast, it drove the wheels off of it. What the Stand heck? by, folks. I'm stepping back. These blokes have got a lot to do. The fans don't know which way to look here at Laguna Seca. We've never seen this before. Look you at know, this. in the pit, in the pat, in the paddock, there's all kinds of services goes on. Everybody's got to work on their cars, but I've never seen them take one apart and put it together right before pre-grid. Have you, Kevin? I've never seen anything like this, Corky. This is going to go down in history. This will be Grand Prix history, folks. They're the engines the out. Motor. What on earth's going on? To the racetrack, Kevin. They've How surely we... got no chance of getting to the racetrack now. I don't know what to say. They got the frame down on the, down on the track. The engine out. The rear end out. The, oh, they figure out. There it is. I say, look at that. Some damn varmint from the hills here at Laguna Seca got himself in the engine box. I can't believe that they took that all apart because there was a skunk in the, in the frame. A skunk in the frame, folks. We've never seen the like of it. Unbelievable, a skunk in the frame. It must be one of those Yankee skunks. Gosh, that's what happens when you race here in America. Wouldn't see that back in Blighty. Might get a screw or two, but not at a racetrack. Well, you never know what kind of varmint can come in and get going. Stand by. These aero yep. engines sound like they're firing up now, Corky. Yep, it's time to go. Time to go, they said. I don't know where I'm going to stand now, folks, because we've got a lot going on. I might just step this way. I wonder if they can get this car back together and in time. Who knows? Who knows? Skunk in the engine box, hey, old man? I say, young man, skunk in the engine box, was it? Yep, it was uh, definitely a skunk. Yeah. Definitely a skunk, wow. Something doesn't smell good to me around here. That's what it was. Listen to that engine, wow! This really is something. These chaps really know how to fettle on the spanners. It's all going on. The Marma Wasp appears to be firing up too, and the 33 car. They're getting it back together. Corky, 
I gotta say, get there, Kevin. I say, old man, it looks like they've only gone and done it. They're going to get to the racetrack on time. No way. I can't believe it. Anytime you get a varmint in the way like a skunk, there's no, it, you just got to call it quits. But it looks like they might get it done. Critters as a racetrack, folks. You never see that back home. These crazy critters here, though, in Laguna Seca in California. Oh, boy. Coming back together. They got it coming back together. We got to get to the racetrack, so I, maybe they can get it done. I'm, I'm hopeful. Well, I've got my fingers crossed for you, old man. If anyone can do it, I would say you chaps can. Out here in America, you know a thing or two about technology, right? Yeah, we learned it from the British. <laughs> well, how about that? British engineering at its finest here in the US of A. Wow! Some of these chaps and chap S's on the fans here, they're going to need... Now Corky's got involved. Hang on, what's this? He's just got himself one of the blokes who was standing by to watch. This is incredible. The rest of the ragtime racers, though, now making their way out to the start line here at Laguna Seca. Don't forget, 2.2 miles around some 11 turns. Elevation like you've not seen before as well. It's going to be quite something. There goes the number 33 car. That's the Lozier, look at that. Those exhaust pipes are wrapped because let me tell you, that thing's gonna be hot up front. Sporting white boots from the mechanic there. Oh boy, doesn't he look the part. Meanwhile, the number 13 car appears like it might make it back to the race. Hello, what's this? That's the Marmon Wasp, number 32. First ever Indianapolis 500 winner, off to the grid, single seater too. I tell you what, how about that, Johnny and Adam? Down here at Laguna Seca, in the pits, the ragtime racers have really put on a show for the folks. Let's go on out to the start and see how they all do.